So we're looking for the Xinjing TV. Uh, it says it's here. So maybe in here? Maybe in here? Ah, yes, this one. Hello, my name is Olisile Sitole. I am the World Youth Panda Journalist. I am from South Africa. Hello, Eric. Welcome to our studio. Thank you, Eric. So this time I will show you around about our devices. Mm -hmm. This four. So this camera is for making a live streaming. Wow! Yeah, it's a mirror here. That's very cool. And this part is what we do our local news. Wow! The anchor man usually sitting. So I would sit here. So you can have a try, of course. So try to be a female anchor. <laughs> I can try to be very serious. Wow! This is very cool. I Thank like you. So it. what about in your country? <gasps> I have never been in a studio before, but they do have something that looks... You know what I do, my trick, yeah. is everywhere I go somewhere, I never interact with any of the equipment, anything. I always make sure just before an interview, I do it for the first time, because then like, when I actually look at the things, yes. I'm actually interested. So when somebody tells me about it, I'm not trying to pretend like I'm being oh, you're truly I'm actually interested. Actually interested. Oh, yeah. And then it always reflects on the camera. <laughs> oh, so just turn it off. Okay, and so on. Oh. That's Xi Ji. Yeah, that's Xi Ji. That's Xi Ji. And then it is. a disabled woman. Yeah. Oh. One of my friends just invited me to the Xing Xing TV at the back there and we had such a great experience showing me all of the devices. There's an actual mirror that they use for reading. I, d I didn't know about that. So now I know the secret of the South African journalists. I know how they're able to look and not have to look around or look at the script. It's very, very interesting. I'm the Wolf Youth Panda Journalist and I'm in Xinjiang waiting for you. Welcome to Xinjiang 